Well, good day. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. You two family. I come home and took me a little nap. Went in the fruit stand today. Hope everybody's doing well and had a good day. Now I'm making a trip back up to the fruit stand. I thought it was getting ready to start pouring down rain earlier. So I was kind of moving back this way. And uh, I wanted to do a few things. I'll show you what here in just a little bit. Yep. Hey, I'll go ahead and tell you. I gotta open the gate. Scott. Scott come in, closed the gate for the night. He didn't think I'd be going back out. And normally I wouldn't. But uh <coughs> yeah. I'm not. Y'all got me feeling. Y'all got me worried about being behind on the garden and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so I decided <clears throat> plant more peppers. <laughs> yeah. And I was looking. And I can put two more peppers in, in that tire. So, that's what I want to do. But I'm also gonna put some somewhere else. I'm gonna get me some dirt. Plant me uh, at least five more in another pot. So, yeah. Well, we got peppers are growing tall and they need to be in the ground. And, uh, they're not, uh, I've sold several of them. Several people's been in and bought some. But, uh, the last time, the first time Scott went up, you know, the, the guy was supposed to have been saving us, uh, saving us some. And when he went back up the next time, uh, he had some more. And Scott went ahead and bought a, I don't know, another tray or two or three or something like that. I don't remember. But they are growing in their little pots up here. And I was like, hmm, well, I can plant two more in the tire. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I'll plant maybe five more in a bucket. Could take them down there and plant them in the garden, but I don't like to go to the garden. I don't like, that's just not my part of my daily routine anymore. Uh, but, uh, to the fruit stand. See you there. First thing I'm gonna do is grab uh, two bags of this right here. 
Okay, that took care of that. Now, oh, whoa. He also got some, look how big them are. How tall they've grown. Like the ones I already got in the, got in the, I need to find me a container. Hold on, I'll be right back. Hey. All right, got our dirt. Some plants. And I'm going to go home, turn the floodlights on. That's what I'm going to do this evening. Well, I'm back at the house. Uh, before I get started on my little project, I wanted to tell you. And uh, you all know Tank, our great Pyrenees, that watches out after things around here. Well, if you've ever watched one of my videos over at the 120, you've probably seen Baxter. And I told you Baxter was Tank's brother. Uh, Manny and them's had Baxter over there just as long as we've had Tank over here. And uh, they've grown very much attached to him. And here a while back, several months ago, I think it was, uh, he... Uh, Develop. He's had a leg problem with uh, some kind of infection. I don't know what it is. It looks terrible. Uh, and they got it cleared up once and stuff and all that. But stuff's happening inside there. Well, it started again. This time they can't. They couldn't control it. And uh, the vet said there wasn't nothing left to do except for amputate his leg. And I thought, how bizarre. Another one of my YouTube family's got a great Pyrenees, and their dog hurt hurt her leg, except he's a he, and had to have it amputated. And now here we are with Baxter over at the 120 having to have one amputated. Now, I won't be showing you Baxter until maybe the next time I'm over there. I, I don't go over there a lot. That's where the cows are and the pigs. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I uh, want to tell you, because the the kids over there and uh, Manny's wife, uh, is especially his wife, is very attached to Baxter. And uh, so I remember them in prayer. Uh, I haven't, I didn't get no update uh I meant to ask Scott if, because Scott was going to go over there to uh, help move some cows around this afternoon. I come home, went to sleep. And uh, uh, I didn't see him, so I, I'm i not going to bother Scott tonight. I'll find out how Baxter's doing. I'll find out tomorrow. Uh, but I'll update you. But yeah, they're supposed to amputate his leg today. So we're going to see they, if they didn't, it was going to spread more and more, you know. And uh, that would be that. But so they're, that's what they're doing. Uh, they made that, their, the choice they decided to make. And so, and, uh, but uh, Baxter's a good old boy. Uh, I think... Manny's wife got really attached to the dog because he kept, when he was little and younger, he kept running off. Neighbors were having to call and say, we've got your dog, come and get it. Uh, 
or they were out hunting the streets looking for him, trying to get him back home. I mean, he was a roamer. He really took off. He he stayed gone. <laughs> uh, he'd be on Facebook all the time. If you see a dog, give me a holler. <laughs> we're hunting him again. That 120 acres wasn't enough land for him. And uh, but he had settled in. He was he he finally settled in and was staying home pretty much and. Uh, well, they, they did a lot of tracking him over uh, his first year of his life. But, uh, yeah, keep them in your prayer. I want to get out here and, uh, uh, turn the floodlights on and get to work. Well, I want to start right here and plant the first two. I, I got some good news, too. Uh, I hope the wind ain't cutting my volume out. But uh, I just talked to Scott because uh, on the phone anyway that I said I wasn't going to do, but I saw him. So uh, they're going to try to save. They changed their mind. The doctor is wanting to try now to save Baxter's foot. My leg. So that's some good news. <laughs> All right. <coughs> <coughs> now Daniel, he had his uh, MRI yesterday, and. Uh, We don't have no results back yet. So we're still waiting on that. Yeah. I mean, I'm doing I'm doing so good with the peppers. Peggy, look at that. I had a pepper just pop right up out of nowhere. Just popped right up out of there. <laughs> I think one's all I'm gonna add to that till I see how the other ones come out. How many will uh, fit in that pot? I think I'll, I'll wait and see. But uh, what I'm gonna do, I put it over here on the other side of the picnic table. I got, I'm gonna put that dirt in there and do them right there. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. yeah. Break out my fancy little knife. I've had this for a long time. Uh, I bought it in New Mexico. For, they were getting rid of them. I'm not gonna sell them anymore. And I, that's been, Mercy. Uh, I'm going to guess 30 years ago. I'm pretty close to that. Maybe a little longer. Over there for me if you want to. Cats over here. I want to tell you something. You are not allowed over here. In this dirt. I'll tell you right now. I know. You're going to smell it. It's all natural. Oh, 
Excuse me, man. Dust. All right. Now that we... I think I can put at least five in here. I don't see why not. If I don't fall down. I was going to tell you why I was a fruit stand. Uh, we got these. We also, Scott saw some that's called Fool Me. Fooled You. They're called Fooled You. They look just like these, but they're not hot. <laughs> I don't think I want to plant them with these. <sighs> All right. There's one. I'll put one right here. I really don't need the name tags. I know what they are. But. Mm -hmm. There's two. I don't know. I'm just in. I'm gonna stick it in the side there. I'm just a name tag person. Because I could forget what they are. Monster. Jalapeno peppers. I hear this time of night. Mm. Planting peppers because I'm worried about Peggy. And Meg, you're getting too far ahead of me. Yeah, I think I did right by not planting that one over there. No need crowding them any more. There's two. No, I got three more. Hmm. Yep. Cat. I'm warning you. If you don't want to be my worst enemy. All right, I got to get my back a break for a minute. That's four. Yeah. I plant six in here. <clears throat> oh. These are watered pretty good. So I I'll give them some more. If it don't rain. Supposed to rain. Quite a bit of rain. Come still to come. Oh. <clears throat> and this nurt's got. It's got the worm cut in it. So. Oh, what do they call it? Uh, 
Oh, uh, can't think of what you call it. But if, if I don't have any problems, don't have to use no fertilizer or anything like that. This will be great. Mm. How about that? Yep. I like it. I like it. I like it like that. Yep, 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 yep. Lord, now. Give me the knowledge to do what I need to do to get peppers. And Scott was messing with my head. I don't have no blooms over here. Now, I don't even got some blooms. Ain't no blooms over here. I couldn't find them unless they fell off. I sure didn't find them. Anyway, I think I will. I think I will put a little water here. Anyway, just in case it don't rain. Not a lot. Anyway, this won't be a long video. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to do something tonight. And I thought I'd share it with you. And, uh, yeah. Can't let Megan, Peggy, get ahead of me like this. Peggy's already got peppers growing in her house. I can't even get them growing where they naturally grow at, outside. Can't get them to bloom and give me a pepper. <sighs> well, that's what happens when you don't have a green thumb. <laughs> but at least I do got a thumb. <coughs> Watching that cat. If that cat digs my peppers up, I'll be eating Chinese. <laughs> uh, Anyway, uh, I I do, well, I did want to come on here, and the whole purpose was to tell y'all have a great night. God bless. Remember, Jesus loves you, and that's worth smiling about. So keep on smiling, and uh, keep Daniel and uh, Baxter in your prayers. I had them. I think y'all already had Daniel, but add Baxter. I hope. After the doctor said there wasn't no, wasn't no, uh, it was too far gone. But you know, things change. Just like that. Don't worry about that cat. God bless. Good night.